So, I mean, if you want me to touch upon the actual hypnosis thing. Now what do the runaways have planned here right now? As they were fitting all by himself. Ducks in the clothesline. Amas is catching him smart. What? Mesmerizing. He's using hypnosis! So at the time, me and my tag partner from the, the video, the most illegal move in the history of pro wrestling, were kind of pissed off at CZW. Um, it's funny because we got thrown together as a tag team and as much as we were friends, we didn't want to tag at CZW because we had other goals in mind. But they threw us together. We were promised to be one of the focal tag teams of the tag division, which of course didn't happen. So we were like, um, we literally had this match against the Osir and Portal. The winner was going to go wrestle for the tag belts at Cage of Death. Uh, we were losing, which meant we actually weren't wrestling at Cage of Death. So we were a little like... Mad. We weren't mad we were losing. We were mad we weren't wrestling at Cage of Death, which was uh, the biggest show for CZW of the year. So I'm like, okay, well, we got to do something to stand out. And I said, screw it. Let's uh, do a dance off. Because uh, I knew the OCR and Portal did the hypnotized thing. Uh, so I said, let's do a dance off. Uh, and my tag partner, Ryan, didn't want to do it. He's like, no, I think if we just have a really good wrestling match, uh, that's what people are gonna care about and then me and the two guys from the portal were like We can have a really good wrestling match and like people will probably like it But nobody's gonna care that much about it. I don't think at that in that position So we decided to do this dance-off thing which uh, the owner of CZW DJ Hyde had no idea we were gonna do uh, I made sure of it because I know if we asked him he would have said no So we did it and apparently he got really pissed off about it I think it was maybe almost a year went by before it actually kind of blew up. It ended up going viral. I think somehow, uh, I'm trying to remember how it started. I want to say either Josh Groban or JJ Abrams somehow came across the clip and like tweeted it or something, which started it blowing up. Um, it ended up on a show on an old channel called G4 called Attack of the Show. But then it started making rounds on TV and got so many views. Uh, and for us, that was like one of the craziest weekends of our lives. Like it really lasted like a week. It went by real quick, but it was kind of cool to be like, hey, that's something we did. Um, some people in the world of wrestling were not big fans of it. I remember um, me and Ryan tried to get some bookings using it. And a certain person told us that uh, it was stupid that we did it and it was bad for publicity. Re the world of wrestling is very bizarre um, and it's crazy. And uh, I think that is kind of what makes it great is because just like movies, you can find anything you're into. It's hard to explain because like I've worked for many different companies uh, where... I've had a blood feud with somebody. I've had a match where I got thrown off the top of a cage. I've, you know, had a straight wrestling match with somebody for a title. But then I've done shows where I would dress as a giant monster and fight somebody and put them through a building. And there's many different genres, some weirder than others, some crazier than others, some more serious than others, but there's something for everybody, I think. And I think that's what makes wrestling so great is because you could be any kind of fan get drawn into whatever type of wrestling you're watching and still have some kind of payoff and feel good about it. Egyptian hypnosis taking over the runaway. Uh-oh. The hypnosis is broken. Gacy down. The squad by that Papa Giorgio. I don't see it. I know anything about hypnosis in the rule book. Oh, serious mortal going up top. Serious! The Osirian Sacrament! 